The juvenile handicap hurdle is next. This is a 2 mile 0 to 110 hurdle for the four year olds. And Native Waters is at the top for Greg Beckwith. I'm a white and Fargara air for Derek Hinton. All Tia Bronze and Tegan Knox, Matt Cooper, Padan Project Martin, and Pascalina Lantzov, Padraig Hogan, Gunnar Bitzer, Jewel, Graham Clutterbuck, Mushela Siflet, Padraig Hogan, Bobblehat, Alex Cherry, Tahira Told You So, James Shea, and Esme Note for Alex Cherry, a field of 12. All this one. Oh, there they go. And right over on the far side, Esme Note, the first one to show. Head to the first of eight flights of hurdles. We're back on the hurdle track again when we had the first two races today. They're all safely over the first. Longest run to the second, and it's an Alex Cherry 1 2, and they're not hanging about here. Here's me note in the lead. Bobble Hat, the first of three races in second. Then comes the second of them. I'm all white on the inside of Tegan Knox with the third grey Fargera Air on the inside of Tahira. Told you so. Then comes Gunner Bits of Jewel and all Tia Bronze. One or two of these are already being pushed along to go the pace, which is pretty hot at this point. And Esme Note will lead them into the second flight, which they all get over okay. We have Bobble Hat second, gap of a good four lengths, then to Tegan knocks in third. Fargear area and Armour White got a bit of jewel. He's in between that one and Tahira. Told you so. The Patrick Hogan pair are moving through the pack nicely. Moushe Le Siflet and Pascalina Lantzov as they get over to third. And Padan. Project is after that one, and Musha Lesifli's just dropped back again a little bit now. Native Waters is the back marker, but the Alex Cherry pair are blazing the trail. Mine and a quarter still to go, and Esme Note is in the lead from Bobble Hat in second. Tegan knocks third to hear it told you so. Fourth, and gonna bit of jewel as they get over the fourth. That's the midway point in the jumping, They're racing down towards the midway point in the racing soon, and Esme Note by two lengths to Bobble Hat in second, both for Alex Cherry, gap of four lengths, then to Tegan Knox and Matt Cooper in the red, then another gap of a similar distance to oh, I'm All White for Derek Hinton in a pink, pink and black, going a bit to Jewel for Graham Clutterbuck, and then Tahira Told You So, or James Shea with all tier bronze on the outside of that one. I was going to say the inside is the inside now, isn't it? And then jump over that next one and towards the back, Native Waters is still just the back marker, but they're well strung out. And Esme Note is still the leader from Bobble Hat, who's getting a little bit closer in second. Then Tegan Knox and a big gap then back to Connor Bits of Jewel and Armour White. This is the sixth of the eight. So just two more to get over after that one then. And it's Esme Note who's still the leader and pushing on again. Two lengths clear of Bobble Hat in second. Tegan Knox looks to be going well in third. Back in the pack. The rest of them are all being scrubbed along to try and close the gap. It's a case of how much these leading three have got left and Esme Note doesn't look like it's stopping at the moment it's well clear it's the bottom weight as well don't forget and he's now gone five lengths clear so Esme Note racing to the second last the jockey had a little look round then skipped over that one nice it's a good five lengths clear we just concentrate on going forward he'll probably win this they're racing down towards the final flight and Esme Note is clearing the lead from Bobble Hat in second Tegan Knox Moushe Le Siflin is absolutely flying on the outside though and he's trying to get closer they're racing into the final two and it's Esme Note who's still in the lead and still five clear racing down towards this final flight Esme Note five clear of Tegan Knox Bobble Hat Moushe Le Siflet and I'm all white still in the lead then Esme Note but beginning to tire now it would seem only three lengths in the lead Moushe Le Siflet is flying over the final flight Esme Knox jumped it really well though and Esme Note is still two clear they're racing into the final quarter furlong it's Esme Note in the lead Moushe Le Siflet trying to close but it's going to be Esme Note who wins it Moushe Le Siflet second Tegan Knox I'm all white to hear I told you so quite a lot of them never got into that race at all because Esme Note was doing the impression of a John Morgan horse and didn't look like ever stopping really Moushe Le Siflet, the second horse today from the Padre Hogan yard to be flying at the death but not quite managed to get there giving away 11 pounds as well so Esme Note takes it for Alex Cherry Moushe Le Siflet for Padre Hogan was second Tegan Knox Matt Cooper third I'm all white for Derek Hinton was fourth and Pascalina Lads off for Padraig Hogan was fifth.